Hello mudlarking friends, here we are back down on the foreshore once again. So without further ado, let's see what I can turn up for us today. As I'm walking through, I thought I'd tell you a story because it's quite a sweet thing. And uh, so I'm walking off to go to the bit I want to be at. And I just saw this other mudlark that I know a bit, not that much. Anyway, as you do, the conversation goes, hello, hello, any luck? Invariably the answer is no. Any luck? No. And then I said, I live in Hope. And he said, I live in Mitcham. You can see clearly what I've spotted. Here it is, a modern coin. But if we just pan over to the right a little, can you see anything else? There, another modern coin. Now, I'm going to stop here for a bit and see if anything... Oh, there we go. Another modern coin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Another modern coin. Now, either someone just chucked this over about three hours ago or something, which I doubt, or we've got a promising little coin line going on here. So. I'm just going to get stuck in here and see if I can find anything else. I kid you not, this is what's turned up so far and they keep Coming. It's like someone's dropped their piggy bank down here. Oh, there's an interesting one. Um, yes, is that? So I'm making my way further down here now because what's that? Is it an aglet? Yes. Honestly, it just keeps on coming. I really don't know what I'm meant to do because while I'm here <clears throat> finding these modern coins, look at that, they just scrape out like that. Um, yeah, while I'm here finding all this modern stuff, I might be wasting my time and find nothing more, but you know, that's how it goes. I'm just working this area here and this bit that's still underwater at the moment so just a bit of patience required and I think oh this looks like a very promising spot here we are okay I'm gonna have a good look through this lot before the next massive boat comes and swooshes the water over it again there goes the boat, so here comes the tide to blast out where I was looking. Just that spot there. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep my eye on that spot and then head back down there to see if anything's washed up. And just so you can see what I'm working through down here, it's all this stuff. So I'm hoping there'll be some more goodies in here as I go through. There we go. It's popped up a quarter of a hammy. Oh goodness, can you even see this there? That is a coin, a hammered coin, that has been quartered. And we should be able to work out what that is once I'm home. Um, 
it's got some quite good detail on it and here comes another huge boat so I'm just going to jump out the way but I'm glad I saved that just in time oh god what's this a little bit of chain oh god some other stuff I don't want to drop the hammy okay I'm going to jump out the way and then come back to this spot please don't let me have dropped this little hammer quarter hang on uh, and let's watch the old tide wash up Sorry, it's all a bit wobbly and bumpy. This surface is really wobbly. Okay, there's the big boat. Have I got the hammy still? Yes. Oh, and look at that, a little bit of... Oh, that's really pretty. I don't know what it is. Could be a bit of pilgrim badge. And then we've got this little chain here. Right, I'm getting back down in that spot. The tiniest little finds, but beautiful. Okay, boat's gone. Let's see if it's gonna kick up any wave here. Oh, you absolute. All right, I just spotted. Here we go. There we go, finally. Something with a bit of age, as well as the hammy, obviously. That looks to me like a folded over token. Oh, gotta be gentle. Mm -hmm. That is indeed a folded over token, but I'll have to wait to get home to see what's on there. Another good find. And for the love of everything holy, here comes another big boat. God! Can they let me live, please? Oh no, there it goes. <laughs> Thank you, Uber boat. Okay, well, I'm pleased so far with what I'm finding here. Um, I need to just get back down there and there is not a soul around, it's just me. So, see what you can do on a, on a technically Four tide. This is technically a four tide. I think that's why there aren't many folks around, but I'm having a great day. Well, it would appear the old Uber boat did me a favor because just here, there it is, there's a nice, and I think it might be a medieval token. There we are. Lovely stuff. I can't actually make it out too well, but it looks to me like a medieval token. I shall soon be correcting myself on the screen there if I'm wrong. Oh yeah, nice one. Back on the pennies again, but I maintain it's a good sign. Here we go, one new penny. Um, and I have moved over just a little. Here's the area I'm working now. Get this big slimy rock out the way, which is pretty gross. Oh, right. Oh God, not a balloon boat, really? Hey, look at that fog. Now that is something cool, isn't it? I've turned you around just to look at me for a minute because these boats, I swear, they are every five minutes, um, which is fine, but there's the bit I'm working on. And as you can see, it just smushes everything out. Oh, but actually, why do I keep complaining? Because I keep finding new bits anyway. I don't know, I'm having a bit of a ditzy day today. You might be able to tell. 
All right, let's wait for this to go and then I'm gonna get back to it. But we're having a great day so far. We've got that cut hammered coin, the little quarter there. We've got a medieval token, an 18th century token, some other bits and bobs I forget. Just a little, oh yeah, maybe a bit of um, pilgrim badge. <laughs> I've probably already checked that out and put it on the screen, but anyway. And I'm gonna show you the shard now because it looks amazing in the fog. Okay, here we go. Check that out. London in a mist and fog. I love it. I know I sometimes go on about pins, but this is why. Okay, so I've got a stash of them from today. There are some big ones, some tiny ones. I'm not sure you can even see them. But then look at this whopper. Look at that beauty. Now that is a solid pin and you can see clearly here where the pin head, a separate piece of wire has been wound round onto the top of the body of the pin. That is such a cool thing. Considering people made these by hand, pinners made these, often children and women worked on the heads there. And you can find these up until about 1900. Um, and then obviously pins during the Industrial Revolution uh, became an industry in themselves. But that is smashing. Sometimes you find them with decorative heads as well. Now I think this one's quite an early one. Generally people say they're Tudor pins. They're not all Tudor pins. You know, they, they span such a large time frame. But that whopper is such a thing of beauty and it gives me real joy actually to find these. There we are. Going from strength to strength today guys. Okay, are you ready for the next lovely find? Here we go. Cloth seal. I'm really pleased with that find. There's a Tudor rose on it there doesn't necessarily mean it's Tudor um, and you can see there's the joining strip so there we are cloth seal of some kind and I am really pleased with that And just to prove it to you, so you know I'm not, I'm talking out of my backside. Oh, there you go. A modern coin amongst the old stuff. So it does pay to persevere. I just yoinked this out of the ground thinking it would be seeing it like that and thinking oh that's got to be a bit of boar tusk and that is really strange look at these little bumps on there You'll know by now how much I like all the wildlife on the Thames. Swan feather. How could I not take it home? Oh, I probably should say that I found this on the floor. I didn't actually pluck it from a swan's bottom. You know how I love my teeth. Here we are. That's a lovely chunky tooth there. I don't know what it's from, maybe a horse or a cow. Let's 
since we're in the bone zone, have a look at this. Got to be a horse, surely. Now these aren't just bones from chop houses and people butchers and people eating. Um, you know, at the side of the Thames and then the waste was thrown in. These are also from tanneries. So tanners would have had to dispose of animals as well. And um, yeah, Thames is in certain places littered with bones. And as you know, every week I tell you, I'm on the search for any bones with interesting man-made markings. Quite a big chop in that one. I think I'll leave this one here, but interesting. Could be just a butchery mark. Mudlarking friend of mine called Alessio, you can find him on Instagram. I'll put his information up on the screen. He has got a nice collection of bone and wood items. Uh, so do go and check that out. I think I'm gonna do a video with him fairly soon, if I can get my act together. So that'd be pretty cool. All right, there we go, another little bit there. So check out this artwork. This guy's been leaving on the Thames for a while now. I say this guy, I think it is a man doing it. Um, it's really cool. And all of these wooden struts here have something attached to them. And there are some things, some Thames art that is not so cool. This stuff is really cool. Look at this one. I love how the metal of it is taking on this patina. And they're all sort of molding taking on this one colour scheme, one colour scheme, it's obviously different colours here, but they're all in keeping with each other. All right, well this is a strange thing for last knockings. Made from pipe clay, but very slim. How strange. That's a nice little find for last knockings, as it's called. There we go. And my first ever wig curler. Believe it or not, five years, six years now almost, and I haven't found one of these before. And there we go, we've broken the back of my wig curler drought. And what else do I see? Someone has come along here emptying their pockets today. And is that a little beard I see, or am I confused in there? Let's see. Well, it's certainly salt glaze. It is, oh, it's the beard of a Bartman. There you go. Little bit of his beard there. And maybe a bit of his rosy red cheek. Is today a bumper day or is today a bumper day? That's what I'm asking you. I'm gonna show you right now the 
last thing I found wasn't the last thing I found because I've just found this. Right, let's check it out. It's just lurking behind here. Here we go. There she is. Boom. Modern, but who cares? That is so cool. I love it. Love religious iconography. I say modern, but that's got a bit of wear going on, hasn't it? I can barely see my spectacles are really steamed up. Is there a date on there? Well, if there is and you can see it and I can't because my spectacles are so steamed up. Mm, okay. This is my last find of the day, I think. I mean, I'm heading back slowly. Oh, I'm in love with it. Brilliant. And it's double-sided. Wow. Perfect. Right, that wasn't my last find. Here's another. I feel like I'm slightly pushing my luck now, but love to see this. It's a medieval piece of pottery. It's got some crimped decoration here, which I think was done by fingers. So that is an exciting thing. I think this might be my last find. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed our finds today. Thank you once again for joining me. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe, press the bell, all that kind of stuff. I'm not really sure what it does. Maybe it's notifications, but anyway, thank you for joining me. Take care, stay merry, and keep safe. See you next time.